My people, I said it. I said it. It appeared as though I was doing conspiracy theory, but I said it. Today, three hours ago, or a few hours ago, I saw a tweet or an X now, a tweet on X from Daily Trust, is on Sahara Reporters, saying that or claiming that Obasan Joe claims fuel subsidy is back. It's on Daily Trust. Is on Nigeria story. In fact, it says there is a lot of work that needs to be done, not just wake up one morning and say you removed the subsidy. Because of inflation, the subsidy that we have removed is not gone. It has come back. And this is credited to former president Obasan Jo. Now, I said it. From the way the IMF and the World Bank works, I told you guys, I told you, I said, for me, these protests could be hijacked. This end bad governance protest could be hijacked by the IMF and World Bank for two reasons. Number one, to pressure Tinubu to increase the pump price of petrol in the name of removal of the fuel subsidy that Bola Tinubu removed in May 2029 that the IMF and World Bank came to claim to say has come back in January of 2024. Yes, so they want him to remove it again. They've been claiming and calling on Tinubu to remove the first subsidy again. Now, before this enters, this end bad governance protest started, we started hearing just before the fuel scarcity of last week or two weeks ago that the landing cost of petrol is now 1,300. In fact, many oil and gas experts went on national TV, just named the channel. They were there pushing that fuel is supposed to be sold at between 1,500 naira and 1,800 naira. Please pay attention. There's a connection between what the IMF and the World Bank are pushing the Tinubu administration to do and the propaganda that you hear on mainstream media. There's a connection. So, I said, I suspect that the IMF and the World Bank may hijack the planned protest to blackmail Tinubu, to force his hand, to dance to their tune, to increase the pump price of fuel again to between 1,500 and 1,800 in the name of removing the fuel subsidy that Tinubu said was gone, but IMF claims it is back, but now needs to be removed again. I said it is either that or the IMF, if Tinubu refuses to give in, will use the planned protest to destabilize the country in order to effect regime change and install another person that would dance better to their tune. I said those were the two suspicions that I had. Alas, day seven of the end bad governance protest which has been hugely successful, by the way. What are we hearing? We are hearing that fuel subsidy is back. El Rufai has said it before. The former governor of, uh, is it, uh, Bauchi, has said it. So many people have said it. Now we are hearing it from... We are hearing it from Obasanjo. Now, it becomes very, very hard to explain to Nigerians that there is no such thing as full subsidy when you hear people like Obasan just say what the IMF wants him to say, what the World Bank wants him to say, that full subsidy is back. The same full subsidy that Tinubu said was gone, that the IMF said was back, and Tinubu and his administration has been denying it since last year, into January, into February. In fact, when El Rufai came out to say in February, March, 
that fuel subsidy is back, that they were paying up to five trillion now per, per year on fuel subsidy. The federal government, Tinubu, NMPC, they all came out to say no, that is a lie. They kept denying it until July 24 or thereabout, when the Minister of Finance, our coordinating minister of the economy, presented ASAP or is it ASAN? Accelerated uh, something, 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 something. And then came out to openly admit that yes, in fact, they paid 3.6 trillion on fuel subsidy in 2023 from May 29 to December. And they are hoping to spend or they are planning to spend over 5.4 trillion on fuel subsidy in 2024. Let's not forget that first half of 2023, Buhari claimed that he paid 4.2 trillion Naira on fuel subsidy. In 2023, Buhari claimed he paid 3 trillion on fuel subsidy. All these claims, Mele Kiari agreed when Tinubu was in power. But immediately Tinubu left. Sorry, I said Tinubu. When Buhari was in power, Mele Kiari agreed with the 4.2 trillion, with the 3 trillion fuel subsidy claim. Please, let's take note. But immediately Buhari left and Tinubu was sworn in. And Tinubu said, fuel subsidy is gone. The very next day, Mele Kiari was on Arise TV and channels denying that the NMPC had not received any fuel subsidy payment from Tinubu since 2020. So obviously somebody is lying. Is it that the federal government was lying under Buhari and his minister of finance? Or Mele Kiari is lying? But to make the matter even more complicated, the House of Representatives Committee on Fuel Subsidy conducted an investigation and they found that they called the oil marketers and asked them, ah, ah, how much did you collect as fuel subsidy payment? The oil marketers openly denied. They, they denied. It's, just do a Google search. You will see it. It's open secret. They denied. They said they did not receive any fuel subsidy payment. That they only partook in the DSDP arrangement to lift crude. That was all. So if the oil marketers, who are supposed to be the people receiving the first subsidy payment, are denying that they did not receive first subsidy payment, if Mele Kiari comes to say, after accepting before, but immediately Buhari leaves, he comes to deny that he did not receive first subsidy payment from Buhari, who did they make this first subsidy payment to? This is what Nigerians need to ask. Who received the first subsidy payment? Considering that the direct sale, direct purchase arrangement is in place. Who received the payment? Obasanjo cannot just come and tell Nigerians that first subsidy is back. Just to agree with the IMF and World Bank claiming that first subsidy is back. Agree with El Rufai and Co. that first subsidy is back. And then the federal government that first subsidy is back, even though the federal government denied previously many times that there was no first subsidy. Now they are coming to say they will pay 5.4 trillion on first subsidy in 2024. One question, one question only. Who is the fuel subsidy payment made to? This is what Nigerians need to ask. This is the only question Nigerians need to ask. And fortunately for us, we have the Freedom of Information Act. We will seize it. I don't know who is ready, but this is what we need to do. We just need to write a letter. So those of you who have NGOs, please avail us your NGO. Let us do a letter to the Federal Ministry of Finance. Since the Minister of Finance came out to openly admit that they have planned 5.4 trillion for first subsidy in 2024 and they paid 3.6 trillion for first subsidy in 2023, second half. They must now come and tell Nigerians who they made those payments to. Because we know that the DSDP arrangement is still in place. And by the DSDP arrangement, putting NMPC in sole custody of being responsible for bringing in crude oil into Nigeria, uh, sorry, refined petrol products into Nigeria, they must now explain to us who received the fuel subsidy payment. 
we should not let this slide. If we keep quiet, you will wake up and hear that they have removed fuel subsidy again, which is their plan all along. Which is their plan all along. You will wake up and hear that they have removed fuel subsidy again, and now we need to pay 1,500 naira per liter. We cannot let this slide. We must seize the opportunity of the Freedom of Information Act and ask NMPC and ask the Ministry of Finance, the Minister of Finance, to tell Nigerians who are the recipients of this. Then we will now come out and prove that there was no subsidy. We need to do this if we must move ahead. Anyways, the seven of the protests, kudos to the protesters. Thank you for speaking up in spite of the non-appearance of NANS, the non-appearance of NLC and TUC, the non-appearance of celebrities, the non-appearance of political, uh, traditional rulers, the non-appearance of um, religious leaders, non-appearance of critical stakeholder in the society. You spoke and you shook Tinubu. You shook him, you gave him sleepless nights. Even with all his security agencies, you gave him sleepless nights. You are the real MVPs. Don't feel discouraged. You won. You won and you still win. I would have asked that you call off the protest right now and let us re-strategize again because we need to kick these people out. They're just wasting our time. Time that we're supposed to spend strategizing and organizing to kick them out in 2027. They are wasting it. They are helping us. They are pushing us to waste it. But we must give ourselves brain now. Good job. We'll talk again soon after we serve these people. They can't continue to take us for granted like this. Never. I agree.